Welcome to the Art Department. When your child joins us in Year 7, they'll be introduced to a wide range of processes and techniques. Up here in the Art Department, we cover sculpture and clay, as well as printmaking, photography, painting and drawing. Over the course of Cohort 7 and 8, learners gain the skills and techniques they need so that if they wish to take GCSE art, they have the foundations to start to build their portfolio in order to pass the GCSE exams. If you should have any further questions about art, please feel free to send any of your questions on to the email that will follow after this video. Expressive Arts at Honeywood includes dance, drama and music. Learners have the opportunity to explore a wide range of these areas through different points of time. We look at practical ideas, composition and devising ideas and theory throughout all of them. One, something else that we explore through Expressive Arts is the idea of creativity. Creativity being something that you're not born with, but something that is a process. We explore these processes and find every learner the opportunity to develop these different areas. Welcome to the Dance Studio. This is where your child will have dance lessons in Year 7. They will have one lesson every two weeks. We do this at Honeywood because we believe that it helps bring on their confidence and skills for life. If they choose to take GCSE dance, they will do that in years 9, 10 and 11. At Key Stage 3, they will have the option to join into a club once a week where we will then be able to showcase their learning and their skills through a live audience experience. If they took GCSE dance, they would then also be able to take part in the Year 11 dance show, which the Year 11s choreograph and put on all on their own. Dance here is such a big part of everyday life. Here at Honeywood, all learners at Key Stage 3 in drama look at things like script work and they build on their confidence and also work on their social skills and teamwork. Then, in Year 8, they get the option to choose drama where we will look at practitioners at Key Stage 4 such as Brett and Stanislaski and Frantic Assembly. In the Creative Arts Department, we also have a school show every year and at lunch times, the learners at Key Stage 3 have the option of, having, of attending a drama club. In music, learners can expect to be challenged, inspired, intrigued and supported to explore music in a huge range of styles and genres. We look at where music has come from in the past, how this has evolved into the many wonderful styles of the world and is still evolving into the music of the current day. Learners will have the opportunity to play a wide range of instruments, learn performance and composition skills and develop the ability to listen and discuss music with a more analytical mind. We are proud that our commitment to providing a high quality music education for all young people has been recognised and has been designated as a Music Marks School. We look forward to welcoming your child and supporting their creative development. Here at Honeywood, learners can choose to take GCSE Media Studies at Key Stage 4. In Media Studies, we look at four key concepts such as language, representation, audience and industry. We learn these concepts within a range of different products across the curriculum. Learners often describe Media Studies as analytical, topical, engaging and exciting. There are plenty of post-16 opportunities for learners such as blogging, TV presenting, journalism, magazine production and design. We expect the media industry to continue growing and our curriculum provides an insight into this ever-changing landscape. Religion and philosophy is a hugely exciting subject because it's a live subject. You can see the effects of belief and religion and ethical considerations in our world every day. And this is great because it gives our learners the cultural and social capital to be really effective citizens of the world. We start in year seven with comparative religion. We focus on the six major world religions and how they're similar, how they're different. In year eight, we shift our focus to philosophy and ethics, looking at the concept of philosophy and also ethical considerations that shape our world. All of this prepares our learners for RSGCSE in year nine and beyond. They study the beliefs, teachings and practices of Christianity and Islam and also Christian philosophy and ethics such as the existence of God and religion, peace and conflict. Relig Religious Studies GCSE is an excellent GCSE for college applications as it has a wonderful reputation for intellectual rigour and plenty of writing practice. Here at Honeywood, learners are able to take ownership of their PE learning. We give learners a choice of two sports every half term and then they continue with that sport for the entirety of the half term. We give choices such as rugby or netball, football or dance, all the way through to athletics, cricket, rounders. Um, this means that over the two years, learners will cover a mixture of individual and team games. 
But as well as the curriculum, we also offer extracurricular activities. Every lunchtime, we offer table tennis and badminton to all learners. And then after school, at different points in the year, we offer things like athletics, netball, basketball, rugby, football, etc. Um, as well as that, we also enter a number of district competitions every year. For Key Stage 4 PE, learners will continue to study PE all the way through to Year 11, um, and they will carry on with core PE once per week, studying a number of different sports. On top of this, they are able to choose either GCSE PE or a vocational option for PE. If they choose GCSE PE, they will cover three sports, um, which will make up 30% of their overall grade, 60% of their grade will be theory, and then 10% of that grade is coursework. If they choose the vocational option, they will cover, at the moment, OCR Cambridge National in Sports Studies, and they do four units. 25% of that is exam-based, and then 75% is coursework-based.